Activity picking up uh, here in Times Square. Across the city, people are returning to restaurants, stores, uh, and parks. The city's hotels, uh, which were hard hit by the pandemic, are also starting to recover. Ian Schrager's Public Hotel, which recently relaunched, has a unique view of the economic reopening. Ian joins us now. He's founder of the Ian Schrager Company. We'll talk about a public in just a moment, Ian, and, and we're interested in that. And you can, not everyone knows exactly what your concept is and, uh, and, and what it entails, but and we'll get an update. But just in general, uh, talk about New York, uh, the, the, whether you think reopening will, will get us three quarters of the way back, uh, one and a half times the way back. What, what, what's it going to look like, in your view, as time goes by? Well, I think people are ready to go mad. Uh, and I think uh, we're there to help them achieve that. Uh, I think we're going to be returning to normal. Not a new normal, but the, uh, the old normal that we've been grown accustomed to. Uh, the hotel reservations are uh, swamped. I think uh, the restaurants and the bars in New York will return faster because those are really geared towards the people who already live here. I think international travel and corporate and group will lag a bit. But I think uh, we're on the road to recovery. I can't tell you exactly how fast. I would look to uh, September and the fall for us to be pretty close to, to where we are. But I'm very confident, and I've always felt confident, that we would return to normal. Can you find workers? Have you had to pay more? What, can you comment on that, that entire situation and, and what's causing it and, and whether it, it, it fixes itself in near term? Well, it, it's very difficult. Uh, the the uh, labor market uh, is very constricted. I think with all the government benefits that everyone has been receiving, people would rather stay home and do nothing rather than go to work. Uh, I think uh, that eventually will change once the benefits uh, uh, diminish. But the, but the labor market is very tight, and we're having to work with a lot less labor. So you there, there are services that are being hampered? I mean, at this point, the, the, the demand might not be overwhelming your, uh, you know, your abilities right now. But if the demand keeps going up, are you, you aren't going to be able to provide the type of services you want to provide with the number of workers you have? Or are they working double shit? Or how is that working? Well, we're, uh, everybody's working extra hard. And everybody's working longer shifts. You know, I went to uh, the hotel yesterday, and I saw the kitchen and the chefs, and they were tired. Uh, we're just now getting started, but uh, we may have to limit capacity a bit until we catch up, but we will catch up. It's a good problem to have. Uh, demand is definitely there and rising, which, which I think is the most critical uh, fact. But, uh, and I do anticipate the labor market will uh, uh, loosen up a little bit because people are going to have to go back to work. You have been at the fore of a lot of changes in, in the, the hotel industry. And the, the, in what you think is your most important idea today to, is public, which would be a luxury for all. How, how would you do that? How do you, it, it just seems like there's, you know, there's, there's differences in, in, in depending on, on your price point on how much luxury you can have. How can you have luxury for all? And what does it mean? Uh, luxury, uh, everything in life changes. Uh, every day. And luxury has changed as well. And we have to keep pace with what people want today. Uh, and I don't think your goal should be piling on lavish luxuries uh, from a bygone era that has changed and people just don't care about. So to me, luxury is humanity. It's egalitarian. It's been democratized. It's the way it makes you feel. Uh, it's not a business classification or how much something costs. Uh, and I think uh, we have to recognize that. Uh, and I think everybody and anybody is entitled to luxury and entitled to feel good and entitled to get a sense of freedom and liberation by where they're staying, by treated nicely and made to feel good and, and uh, by very, very friendly, caring people, uh, the kind of people we all hope to marry someday. Uh, and mm -hmm. so the idea is to instill that in your staff and, and to really make luxury, luxury that matters, uh, available to everyone. And I just think it's uh, probably the most important idea I ever had uh, because it makes luxury and sophistication and uh, all things that come with that accessible to everyone. Well, it's egalitarian. It's just completely suitable for the times today. Right. After 
you know, maybe a brief uh, bump in the road. I, I mean, that's, you know, the pandemic, you're rolling this out and you maybe just had to put it on hold for a little while, but this might be a great time uh, if it's really going to be uh, as, you know, demand is going to be as high as ever, even maybe above that because people need to get out. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.